everybody how are you doing it's actually good evening not good afternoon i'm gone let me just spin around because i've got this bugger here with me our ted so i thought i'd give him a walk but we've done all the main walks so i wanted to go like somewhere a little bit different and to be fair Cawthorn, which is where we're at is a place i've wanted to show you for a while so there's a lot of history here there's a beautiful churchyard we're going to go and have a look and there's also a Saxon cross, a genuine Saxon cross. Everyone, look at that door. Oh, Holly Cottage. This is beautiful. This looks like something out of a Miss Marple. So, it's pretty quiet. Some beautiful cottages. I think that's the old vicarage over there. And we've got a sign here, everybody. Barnsley British Cooperative Society, President Edward Tune, JP, Vice President Samuel Jones and Walter Matchen, Captain Alfred E. Elliot, L. Elliot, Emmanuel Cherry, and this stone was laid by Francis Addy, General Grocer Manager, General Grocery Manager, uh, must have been the court building this then, June 16th, 1932, traditional, tradition, Jesus. Post office and traditional sweet shop. I wonder what sweets... Hey, they sell licorice. But they're not opened. We'll have a look and see if they're open on the way back, everybody. So we can get some licorice from there. Then when we went looking for some down in um, Pontefract, I don't think I'm filming, am I? So yeah, Cawthorn. Um, I don't know that much about the village other than it's a sleepy village. They've got a Jubilee Museum and it just think it's beautiful. There's a few new buildings here. I don't know if you've spotted them all. Definitely, well, not as old as most. Wow, look at that. I wonder which Lord of the Manor lives there. But they'll be in this graveyard up here. What are you doing, you nutter? Know, get round here. Oi! Come here. God, it's a silly sausage. Nice pub there as well, Spencer Arms. I need to meet a fella then who lives in Cawthorn, don't I? Because he'll have a nice house. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm just doing this voiceover as I edit. We're coming up to this cross and I keep going on about how it's a Saxon cross. There is a Saxon cross, an original one in this village, but it's not here, it's in the churchyard. I confused it because obviously this looks like a Saxon cross to me. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go back. So if you hear me referring to this being a Saxon cross, it's not. It's in the church. So there you go. Into it. And it says, Whoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but to so ever drinketh of the water that I shall give shall never thirst, but the water that I shall yeah. give him shall something in a well of unfortunately everybody i can't read that last bit i think it's a verse out of the bible or something if you know what it is please tell me below but this is absolutely beautiful at the bottom the carving looks like octopuses but i think it's supposed to be like dragons and snakes think of that i think that's absolutely splendid i i'll find out exactly how old that is and when we come back down i want to have another look but let's go up to the churchyard sorry everyone i'm probably doing a really crap filming today but um this is fountain cottage and this place is 10 no nah, 10 minute drive from my house in traffic so it's not far um, at all. Still in Barnsley. You know what makes me laugh, everyone, right? Um, and I'm not calling it. Oh, look at that over there. That's lovely, isn't it? Maybe I'll move to Carthorne in a few years. Although there's nothing wrong with where I live. <laughs> where I live is absolutely beautiful. 
Um, but let's go, we're going to go and see now who's living in this, not living, but who resides in the churchyard. And for some reason they've cordoned some graves off. I don't know what that's all about. But we'll see who we can find. But yeah, when I first moved, I was thinking of moving to Barnsley. I said that it was a poor level of quality of life. Don't know about that, everybody. And I'll tell you something else as well. There's some belting graves in here. Here we go. In memory of Charles Tipsledy, Prague, of a priest of this parish who died in 1915. Look at that. Yeah, apparently it's a, a poor quality of life in Barnsley. I think whoever wrote that report probably didn't spend much time in other towns, you know. Look at them birds. Do you think of them birds? I'm talking to a dog. This grave over here, everybody, is very simple. This is in the memory of George Hall. He died on June the 8th, 1859. He was only... 48 years old. I'm pretty sure when I look round there, um, I could see some mentions of collieries. Now, when you see that on headstones around these parts, it tends to mean either they worked at the colliery or they died at the colliery. These birds aren't scared at all. They're really not bothered. Oh my God, everyone, look. Oh, look at them. Look at that gargoyle outside at church there. We haven't even looked at the church, have we? Teddy, you need to shall I extend your lead for you. Go on then. No, don't chase the bleeding bird. Where's a little swine? Don't chase the birdie. Eh? In the memory of Rachel, wife of Robert Broadhead of Cawthorn Lane Head, who died 1853, she was 59. Also the above named Robert Broadhead who died on the 1st day of October, 1872, was 65 years old. What do you think of this place? I think it's absolutely beautiful and today is just a beautiful day, everyone. We've had so much bad weather recently, haven't we? <clears throat> Looking very... Oh my God! What the actual hell? Right. Come on, you. I mean, have you seen it, everyone? This is a grave. This here is a grave. Will you stop chasing them bleeding birds? Leave the birds alone. We're going to have to go down these steps. That's either... It's a, it's a grave, that. Someone's built something. Some sort of witchcraft contraption yeah I might be a bit out of it today everyone because I'm trying to keep my attention on him so he doesn't eat a bird and I'm trying to bloody get these see these graves oh look it's massive yeah it was the first day I got Teddy and I took him for a walk and went sailing down the hill on my ass wow I told you it'd help if I focused on it wouldn't it son of Elizabeth Margaret Elizabeth Ida Fraser Spencer Stanthorpe and the Honourable George Fraser. Born 24th of June 1924, died August 2004. Margaret Elizabeth is here. Oh, oh, no wonder. She lived at Cannon Hall and Banks Hall. Daughter of John Montague and Ida Murray Spencer Stanthorpe. So these people lived at Cannon Hall, and if you want to know what Cannon Hall is, it's basically a beautiful old home. You can go in now, it's owned by the, is it National Trust? Not sure. But they live there. And this is Sir Walter, Thomas William Spencer Stanhope, KCB, that's Knight, of Cannon Hall and Horsforth Hall, York MAJP and DL for the West Riding Yorkshire, Lake Captain, 1st West Yorkshire, Yeomanry, Yeoman is like a head, Cavalry and 
I think that's Colonel. Honourable Colonel of the 2nd Battalion, York and Lancaster, MP for South Division of West Riding. In 1872 to 1880, born 21st of December, 1827, and he died 17th of November, 1911. This is eaten into the stone. I need to stop that. Can't do it with my bare hands, everybody. So, everyone, they lived at Cannon Hall. Wish this dog had stopped twisting me up in knots. Come on, you. Come on, then, back up this hill. Maybe there was steps here at one time. And now they're not there to put you off from going down, maybe. Oh, look at that, everybody. Right, let's get down the other side because there's another graveyard. I want to have a walk around there. There's another grave behind this wall. I don't know whose grave it is. Can't see an inscription. I imagine it's probably on the other side. There it is. Yeah, but you're running around like a nutter. That's why you're hot. Let's get in here. Come on. There's some strange noises, everybody. This is in memory of Joseph Hinchliffe of Clough Green, born 8th of June, 1804. He died 1884, and also his wife, Hannah. She died two years before him. How beautiful is this place, everybody? These graves, I might have a look at them on the way back round. This is a nice grave. In the sunlight, beautiful today. In memoriam, Benjamin Swift, 1850 to December 17th, 1885. Also, Annie Swift, she died in 1936, I think. Come here, you. <gasps> oh, wow, look, everybody. Abel Hold, artist, 1815 to 1896. I wonder who Abel was. I think we're going to find some fantastic finds in here today. <laughs> Said his lead was like coming off him. I don't know what the hell had gone on, but he's got his legs out somehow. Oh, look at this. We all are authors, everyone. The authors of our deeds. Each morning turns a fair white page. We write our maker's reads and that which once is written down must wait the final scene with every blot of stain or spot or keep your record clean, eh, Mosley? Alfred, son of Richard and Sarah Mosley of Cawthorn, late of Shepley. Born 1865, died 1886. Also Joe, their son. He died 1857, also their daughter. The friggin' Ivy's coming up, everyone. Oh, I can't possibly pull it off everything. Oh, it's no good. Let's try and find out here. Come on, Ted, but. Come on, Teddy. You know, it's weird that actually because I don't necessarily think always of reading the back of gravestones. Maybe I'll start doing that. Let's have a look over here, everybody. Oh, this is itching like hell. I think we've got an overgrown area here with possibly more graves, which we're not going to be able to get to.
tree. Where are you going, Teddy? Where are you going? You're going to walk his? Is that what you're doing? Wow, look at this, everyone. Look at this for a grave spot. Isn't it lovely? Zacchaeus Hurst, who died January the 26th, 1892. He was 59, his end was peace. Also, his son Zacchaeus is dead there. He died in 1893. One year later, he was 30. And Sarah Ann, his wife, she died in 1899, that year again. Age 71. It's a beautiful setting in a beautiful uh, little village, everybody. Very, very peaceful grave. Yard. There's plenty of space left as well by the looks of it. Unless, of course, there are graves under here and people haven't got headstones. I can't believe we found that Cannon Hall one, but it does make sense because Cannon Hall's just a little bit further up the road. So it makes sense that they would have worshipped, worshipped here and been buried here. So this church, it must, it must um, either have Saxon grounds or Saxon parts of it or possibly Norman foundations, which they all did. It's got some very, very old stained glass windows and some massive, massive tombs. Look at this. So on the back is a carving of a religious figure. Then do we with patience wait for it the chapter of the Bible. Oh, look. Look at her. Unfortunately, though, everybody, there's someone over there who works in the pits. We're going to go over there. Unfortunately, we can't see it. Over there, we've got well we've got the pits on the can you see the the spade and the hacksaw what is it hacksaw pick not a hacksaw also killed in the Norcroft colliery disaster but buried elsewhere Thomas Blackburn age 16 John Hanforth age 45 and Richard Watson 47 on the other side is some more people in memory of the ten men and boys killed in the Norcroft colliery disaster, 23rd of May 1821. The following were buried in this churchyard in unmarked grave. In an unmarked grave, we've got Charles Eyre, Robert Eyre, brought two brothers, one sixteen, one twelve, and another brother, Benjamin Eyre. Gee whiz, ten years. Charles Fodden, excuse me, Charles Fodden, aged eight. John Hinchcliffe, Hinchliffe, aged eight. John Townsend, aged 13. Thomas Townsend, aged 23. Eight years old, everybody. Eight, 10, 12, six, even 16, even bloody 23. What is going on? That's what happened back then. That's a good boy, he's a good boy. There's another beautiful gravestone there, everybody. I think we're nearly done now. Text. My, fesh, my flesh shall slumber in the ground till the last trumpet's joyful sound, then burst the chains with sweet surprise and in my saviour image rise. Also, Henry, son of the above. <laughs> Come on, Teddy. So there you go. I don't know what this church is called, everybody. I didn't even research it. I just literally set off. Because <laughs> um, I'd driven past so many times. 
and I wanted to, I could see the top of the church and I thought it looks beautiful there and it really is, isn't it? Um, oh, there's a, mouse, a dead mouse on the floor. Oh God, no. Oh, I didn't see that before. God told me, uh, Teddy didn't. Ooh. It wasn't one of them dirty my house mice. It was um, a little field mouse. Anyway, what was I going to say? <laughs> It's just lovely, isn't it? Peaceful, tranquil. Teddy's been a very good boy. Don't know why his lead has been falling off, but there you go. Uh, I've adjusted the straps now. I think maybe the straps were too loose. I don't know. But I'm really pleased to see that massive grave over there, everybody. That was a real surprise. In fact, the whole thing is a surprise. I never imagined that they'd have such a big graveyard with some notable characters. We've got the author, who you should already know about him. We've got the artist. Again, if I can find anything on the artist. Beautiful place. What are you looking at, Teddy? You know, he does strange things. It was like he'd seen something then. And he was trying to get away from it. It's really quiet in it, everyone. I could see myself living somewhere like this. I mean, where I live. I don't know if you've seen it, everyone. This might be your first time on the channel. I don't know. But where I live is absolutely stunning. But this is somewhere else. I mean, to buy now, see, it must be, it'd be fortune. I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. I don't even know if it's one house or a load of houses. I think a load of houses because they've got different things up at window. But really quiet and peaceful. I could live here. And where I parked, there's an empty house. So... I think what I'm going to do, I don't drink anymore, but I think I'm going to bring Mother for a nice drink at the pub up there. Before we go, I just want to show you the detail on this and hope that you can see it. Beautifully carved. Dragon's heads. Like you've got it under your leg again. What is wrong with you? It's because he's lagging. You know, I'll be lucky if I've got a video after all this lot, everybody, because I, I know the camera's been up in the air, uh, staring down at the bloody ground. I must be letting dogs pee everywhere because there's signs saying don't let the dogs go on the grass, it's killing it. This is a beautiful cottage as well, look. I think it's gorgeous here. I'm going to bring my mother and Simon here, I think, to have a look round. There's a tea room there, everybody, if you fancy it. An antique centre. Oh, that's definitely somewhere we're going to go. And it is the old co-op store, look. It's not a tea room, it's a bloody antique shop. I love things like this. Usually I can never afford anything in them. But, you never know. Right, everyone, I'll see you in the next one.